If you are a PC builder, then you can simply get overwhelmed just by looking at the motherboard. You may wonder what all these slots are for. But one of the most important array of slots that you will come across on your motherboard are the PCIe slots. This array of slots that you see on this motherboard are its PCIe slots. PCIe slots are basically used by PCIe devices, also known as expansion cards. These include the likes of a graphics card for adding superior 3D rendering capability to your PC, a Wi-Fi card for adding Wi-Fi connectivity, a dedicated sound card in case if your motherboard does not have a built-in sound chip, a port expansion card for more USB, SATA or other miscellaneous ports, etc. I will explain all the uses of PCI slot and the different devices that you can plug into them. But first, it is important that you understand what a PCI slot is, what configuration they come in, and what PCI lanes are. This information will basically help you in identifying the right PC and plugging the PCI devices in the right slots. So for starters, having a look at PCI slots on this motherboard, you can see that PCI slots come in different sizes. This motherboard, for instance, has three X1 slots, and these are the smallest PCI slots on a motherboard. They are intended to be used with the lightest and the least demanding of expansion cards like a Wi-Fi card. The next two largest slots are the X16 slots. Now here is a very important consideration with regards to the X16 slots. Despite both of them having the same physical size, they are not the same in terms of performance. You see the performance or the bandwidth of a PCI slot is determined by the number of PCI lanes they connect to. Think of PCI lanes as information highways that connect the slots to the CPU for data processing. The higher the number of PCI lanes the slot connects to, the higher would be its bandwidth and the more demanding expansion cards it can be occupied with. Have a look at this table. You can see here that the speed or the bandwidth of a PCI slot scales with the number of PCI lanes the slot connects to. An X1 slot has one lane and if X1 slot conforms to version 3.0, it would have a speed of about 1 gigabyte per second maximum. The X16 slot, however, conforming to the same version would have 16 gigabyte per second or 16 times as much overall bandwidth. It is also worth noting here the importance of PCIe version. With each newer version, the per lane PCI speed doubles so much so that an x1 slot conforming to version 4.0 has twice the bandwidth at almost 2 gigabyte per second as compared to its version 3.0 counterpart the version is very important to take note of if you have newer devices like a gen 4 ssd or newer gpu from the nvidia rtx 4000 series for instance so coming back to the two x16 slots here the first x16 slot or the one closest to the cpu is a true X16 slot, meaning it offers full 16 lanes of bandwidth. The second, however, is a peculiar one because despite having the full X16 physical size, it only offers four lanes and hence, it is actually an X4 slot. You can figure out the exact number of lanes the slot connects to through the motherboard spec sheet. So with the introduction of PCI slots out of the way, let us look into what PCI slots are used for. PCI slots can be occupied with expansion cards as talked about earlier, and each expansion device can add a different functionality to your PC. I will talk about some of the most common ones, the functionality they add, and what PCI slot would be the most suitable for them. The most common expansion card that you add to your PCI slots is a graphics card, especially if you are a gamer. Graphics cards require a true x16 slot or the slot with 16 lanes to work optimally but they can also work with x8 slot with some minor performance drop some can even work with an x4 slot but at a significant performance drop next you have the wi-fi cards wi-fi cards as the name suggests add wi-fi connectivity to your desktop these are load demanding cards and require an x1 slot next you have ethernet cards these add lan connectivity to your pc 1g ethernet cards require an x1 slot whereas the 10G Ethernet cards require an X4 slot to work at optimal speeds. A dedicated sound card requires an X1 slot. A motherboard often comes with a sound card built into it, but for the audio fields out there, a dedicated sound card can give far better results. Now, a very rarely used device that you can install on the X1 slots is the TV tuner card. These cards basically turn your PC into a TV, allowing you to view your favorite cable channels, but who uses cable these days anyways? A side note here. If you are learning something of value and you are still with me, please like the video and subscribe to my channel as it would really help me. Next you have the video capture cards. These are often used by streamers who record and stream their content online. There are two types of video capture cards at the moment. The full HD capture card requires an X1 slot, whereas the 4K capture cards require an X4 slot. Now if you want to add more M.2 NVMe SSDs to your PC, then you can get an M.2 NVMe expansion card. These require an X4 slot at least, meaning an expansion card with a single M.2 NVMe slot would require an X4 slot, expansion cards with two M.2 NVMe slots would require an X8 slot, and card with four extra M.2 slots would require an X16 slot. And finally, you have the port expansion cards. These add additional ports such as USB, SATA, Thunderbolt, etc. to your PC. Depending upon 
on the number of slots they offer, the PCI slot requirement can vary. You can find port expansion cards ranging in slot requirement from X1 all the way to X8 slots. There are plenty more and specialized cards out there that you can install on your PC. The ones I mentioned are basically the most common ones. So in short, a PCI slot is used for PCI expansion cards which add further functionality to your PC. These slots are essentially the building blocks of your overall PC build. If you learned something of value from this video, again, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe.